Thousands of dock workers at ports from Boston to Texas now on strike. They walked off the job at midnight. Yeah, they're fighting for a higher pay, more job security. And WBZ's Penny Commit is live in Boston with the latest developments. A lot of concern here about the future and robots, right, Penny? Likely going to have some grave impacts as well. As of midnight, the International Longshoremen Association strike has begun. That means any cargo coming into Conley Terminal here in Boston will have no one to unload it. This will likely impact many jobs, local businesses, and likely all of us at the grocery store. Roughly 25,000 longshoremen from 14 ports all along the East and Gulf Coast have walked out of the job overnight, including about 160 employees from Conley Terminal in Boston. They're arguing for better pay and a total ban on the use of automated cranes, gates, and containers moving trucks. According to the global trade data company Volza, the Port of Boston had over 17,000 importers last year with advanced auto parts importing the most goods, followed by two biotech companies. Local businesses say that all of this and the disruption in the supply chain will likely cause them to have to raise prices. It's all coming from overseas. None of it is made here anymore. So I could weather that storm on a short level, but over a year I would not be able to weather the storm. But most places of business would be in trouble like a month and a half later. So it's really going to depend on how long this strike lasts. And this is going to impact a lot of goods that we all know and love, like chocolate, bananas, cherries, alcohol, and depending on the length of this strike, maybe even cars. We're live in Boston. I'm Penny Commit, WBZ News.